Hello everyone, Ms. Klim here, and I'm the academic advisor for 11th and 12th grade for Virginia Virtual Academy. And we wanted to do a quick tutorial. We're getting a lot of questions about just basic navigation um, in your classroom portal in the OMHS uh, learning platform here. So this will be just a basic um, quick tutorial on how to navigate through these main um, menus here on the OMHS. So the first place you wanna go, you should land here, and then you wanna click on <clears throat> classes to get to your classrooms, okay? And then on September 1st, the rest of your classes will drop down in here. Right now, you should have this online learning, introduction to online learning. This is a K-12 course that they drop down into every student's classroom, um, and we'll explore that a little bit. And then you should have your advisory classroom. Okay, this is where your advisor is gonna put resources for you throughout the year. This will stay on your schedule all year. The first block here is my schedule. And this is where when your courses actually load next week, you're gonna see uh, by day and then by week, you're going to see your class connects come up on your schedule here in these blocks and then daily assignments um, that are due. Um, you can look at it by day. If you prefer just a one day look, you'll have just that day's class connects here and then the assignments, or you can do it by week. Most students prefer the weekly schedule so they can kind of see what's coming up for the whole week. Um, there's also this little help button here that you can push and it will uh, go further into detail about explaining my schedule. Um, on this screen also I want to point out that you have toggles that you can go to past weeks on your schedule or you can move into future weeks to see what's coming up. Um, like for instance next Thursday this teacher has already put an office hour on um, your schedule so you'll start seeing things come up there. Once the class connects, download for next week. Um, when you log in, there's gonna be a lot of blocks each day and then your assignments will pop in. You can also select a date and go to a specific date um, if you need to. Also on this main menu, <clears throat> I wanna go to announcements. The, these announcements are the K-12 national announcements that they put in there to communicate with families. So you can look on here and see what information they're putting out. It's a lot of learning coach information usually. Or there will be some information for students about clubs and things coming up throughout the year. So check this often um, throughout the school year. Okay, let's go back to classes. And I wanna pop into this online learning class. This is a great class that um, K-12 has <clears throat> downloaded some information in there for you. You will have some time the next four days to work through this. Maybe you've already discovered this. If you log in and it looks like this, there's really like no announcements, it looks empty. You need to click on the content tab. Okay, and this will take you to the learning modules. So right now we're gonna click on the table of contents. Okay, that takes us to everything that's in the class. It shows there are four main modules here. If you click on the menu on the left, it drops those open and then it shows you how many items are in each module to complete. Okay, and so then you come over here and you start 1.01 .01 and you go through each one. Okay, and it shows you here how many items are in each little section. You can collapse all these down and only open one at a time, or you can expand them all. And once you go into one of these uh, sub lessons here, once you work through it, you're gonna see a check mark come uh, replace this dot. So that way you can kind of keep track of what you've went into and what you've looked at. I highly recommend going through this today, the next few days, uh, to kind of give you an overview and an idea of what schooling online is like, particularly with K-12, and what your school year may look like. This how to be successful module, I went through that. It's very, um, very good. It tells you, you know, how to make a schedule, how to plan out if you get behind what to do. So I highly recommend going through the um, online learning class here. 
Okay, let's go back to the main page and we're gonna look in the advisory classroom. And this is VAVA specific information from your personal advisor for your grade level. Okay, same layout as the other classroom, but you're gonna click on content and you will see here that your advisor has loaded all of these resources for you that are specific to VAVA that we want you to know. I would highly recommend working through this um, and having it um, available. This will be available to you all year. So we will, you know, update this throughout the year. Right now it's a lot of beginning of the year resources, obviously, but um, we will keep adding to this throughout the year. <clears throat> On the overview tab, you can look at this and you can see my contact information um, and just a description of the classroom. So if you ever need my email or phone number, you can find it here as well. Because it's kind of deceiving when you look, click into the classroom, you know, on this one, I have an announcements in there. Um, but uh, you have to remember to go to this content tab and make sure that you're pulling up all the modules for the class. Okay, and every other class that downloads next week, it's laid out in the same format. You have your menu bar across the top and um, you can explore those and make sure that you go through um, and navigate those to know where everything is at. You have notifications here as well. Um, and this little nine box, you can go to, once your other classrooms pop up, you can go to your other classrooms through this little nine box too. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Two things on this home page that I want you to be aware of. One, your email, uh, signing directly into your email. Once you click this icon and click the inbox, you will go straight to a window for your email, your school email. So have that open throughout the day and that way you can quickly go over and look at your email. You can directly email teachers. Um, if you click this box, a little uh, schedule will pop up and it'll show your teachers emails, names and emails. This chain link icon is kind of small and hidden but very important. These are great resources for you to look through um, as you're schooling throughout the year. The one that I want you to really uh, explore is the My Graduation Plan. This shows the courses that you're scheduled, your layout for all four years of high school, your plan, and then what credits you have earned. You can also click on this, and when you click on it, you'll go into your graduation plan, and the top left corner is your student name, and under your student name is your student ID number. So explore this menu um, inside the system when you log in, and just you know take some time to play around, click on these things, get the lay of the land, and kind of you know be ready for next week when your classes drop, and um, then you can go in and explore those classes. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to your grade level advisor and, um, you know, we can work with you more one-on-one -on -one if you need that help as well. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.